Welcome to my tutorial for the io.net worker setup. I'm hoping that this will help clear up a lot of questions and confusions that people are having about setting up a worker. Now, if there are any mods from the io.net Discord server watching, my name is CyberAlien on the Discord server. I'm currently on tier three. I would definitely appreciate tier four. I had to turn off my workers for this. I turned off my uh, 3080 for this tutorial and later I will be doing the same for my M3 so that I can do a tutorial for the M3 instructions. Now for anybody that's getting started on io.net, first thing I recommend you do, get on the Discord server, join the server, go into the wallet submission channel, submit your Solana address, submit it and verify to check your wallet. That'll get you tier one on the server. For tier two, you wanna attend the weekly AMAs that happen every Wednesday. And once the, after the AMAs are over, they, they will open up a channel where you interact with a computer emoji and that'll grant you tier two. And to get tier three and so on, you wanna get more involved in the community, get educated on the project, help people answer any questions that they're having, any uh, support questions, so first thing you wanna to do to set up your worker, go on io.net and first thing I recommend, just go on io.net, go to this tab up here and open the docs section and just have it open next to your io.net platform here just so that you can go back to the docs and keep checking on the steps. And this will have a step-by-step -step guide on everything. So first thing you wanna do, go to io.net, go ahead and click on connect new worker, click on that. Next thing you wanna do, select your operating system. We're gonna do Windows because we're doing this on a Windows computer. And just to make sure that your device is supported, go to the Docs section and click Supported Devices. And keep in mind that only the NVIDIA GPUs are supported. So if you are looking to run your GPU, make sure that you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Those are the only ones that are supported. And if you're running a worker on an Apple laptop, like a MacBook or iMac, you wanna make sure that it has an Apple M chip. Intel chips are not supported. So it has to be an Apple M chip. And the other CPU that is supported is, is this AMD right here specifically. Now that you've verified that your device is supported, you can go ahead, go ahead and select your operating system. It's gonna be Windows. Select io.net. Go ahead and name your device, whatever you want, doesn't matter. Then select GPU worker. Again, this is for Windows because it's an NVIDIA graphics card. We're gonna select GPU. It's not gonna work if you select G CPU. This is only gonna be for Apple computers. Next thing you wanna do, click on this link here. This will guide you on the steps that you need to take to install Docker, which is an application. And then you wanna install the latest NVIDIA drivers for gaming, so gaming drivers. And this is optional here, but it might help. Uh, by installing this CUDA toolkit. So click on this link here, and this will take you to the steps that you need to take to make sure you have all the in, uh, correct installations. So first thing that you wanna do is download Docker. So go ahead and click on this link here and make sure that you have uh, the download selected for Windows. Download this for Windows, click this download, once that's downloaded, go ahead and install Docker. Now the first time that you install and set up Docker, make sure that you open up Docker and in your resources tab, go ahead and click on resources and click on WSL integration and just make sure that this is checked. It should automatically, it should already be checked, but if it's not, just go to your resources tab, WSL integration and check this box if it's not already checked and keep your Docker app open. Next thing you want to do is um, install the latest NVIDIA driver. And it's also there's also a link up here where you can click NVIDIA driver installation. Click on that and click on this link here. This will take you to the official NVIDIA website where you can download the latest gaming driver um, just so it's optimized for running the worker. You can also open up your NVIDIA GeForce Experience application and update your driver directly from the NVIDIA um, application and you just go ahead and install the latest driver like it says here once the installation is done it's essential to reboot your computer so make sure that you reboot your computer even after you've installed docker and installed your latest driver it's best to just restart your your PC 
and to ensure that the new NVIDIA driver is fully integrated into your system. Step six, after your computer has rebooted, open a command prompt and the way that you can, you can just search in your uh, settings here, command prompt, open that up and it'll look like this. Go ahead and copy this script here and you can just click on this clipboard in your command prompt, paste, and you should get a result just like this. And this will let you know that it's successfully installed. You have the uh, latest driver version, which is right here, 551.76. So that's done. And this is the outcome. There's a screenshot here as well. This is optional, like I said, but I do recommend doing it anyway, just to avoid any issues. Go ahead and download the CUDA toolkit kind of the same thing as installing the latest driver. Now that all of these three steps are done, we installed the Docker, we installed the latest NVIDIA driver, and we installed the CUDA toolkit. Go ahead and open this command here or copy this command here. You can click this here, or you can click the little copy icon here. And then go to your Windows PowerShell. You can also search it here in the bar, search Windows PowerShell right click on windows powershell and run as administrator make sure you do that run as administrator copy this code paste it in here and hit enter and then give it a few seconds and it'll just download or pull some files here okay now that that's complete it should be done that's pretty much all that you need to do now go back to your workers or you can hit refresh it can take a couple minutes just be patient with it give it some time and there we go. For me, it took maybe one minute, one and a half minutes max. But you can see that in my workers list here, I have my device that I named here, Cyber Alien. It recognizes that it's an RTX 3080 and it's showing as idle. Now, a lot of people ask this question. If it's idle, that's fine. You're totally fine. If it's running, you're fine. And it, it uh, with it being idle, that's fine. It just means that your device has not been hired for a job yet. So that's fine. As long as it's running idle and uh, it's running, everything looks green. It's you have uptime. All of these are marked. You know, you have your IO version control that's on IO monitor that's green. Everything's green. Um, there will still be rewards for running your workers, even if your device doesn't get hired for jobs. There are still rewards uh, directly tied to the project that will uh, that will be beneficial to you. So it helps to this is one big way to get involved in the project. It's definitely a big way to get involved as long as you have a worker running. And if you are having any issues with getting your device up and running, first off, just make sure that your Docker is running the latest version. That's one thing. If you're still having any issues, one thing that you could try and do, here are some steps. One thing that you can do is delete all your containers and images, restart your device, reconnect your device, and rerun all the commands from the beginning, and then give it about 30 minutes to sync with the server. And the way that you can do that manually is just select this box here. You can stop them, stop these uh, containers, and then hit delete and then delete them. Containers are deleted. Then you can go ahead and copy this code down here. Go back to your PowerShell and in your PowerShell paste that code again. Hit enter and it'll rerun it. And then your worker should be online. So it should look something like this. And you can see its status is running. And we're good.